Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Uh, today we will talk about another uh, Python uh, topic. Today let's go ahead and talk about um, Python strings. Let me delete this here, delete, uh, say file new notebook and select. And what am I gonna name it? Okay, let me say mark down here. Python data types strings, huh? Okay, so 3.7 is the version. Let me take this one here. Control C, rename. Yeah, okay, shift enter. Okay, so let me do one more thing import platform, platform.python underscore version. As you can see, we are 3.7.x. Uh, we're concentrating on 3.7. So as long as you have that, that's okay. So a equals two. So what is that? That's a string. Now, uh, if I do this in quotes, type a, that's a, I mean, sorry. So without uh, quotes, it was a not integer. Now with quotes, it's a string. Same way, let's uh, do another one type a is not integer then string of how to convert that to a string here this is how you do it you can also do like this to know what type of data that is uh, as you can see it's a string let's say a equals batman shift enter type a That's a string. Uh, now, as you can see here, by a t m a n zero one two three four five. Okay, that's how the countdown happens in in Python. From left to right, it's zero. Uh, it starts with zero. Uh, from right to left, it starts with uh, minus one. So let's see if. Uh, what we get here, if we try to get the first index, the first item, if we index uh, zero, then it's B. Obviously, if we index one, it's uh, A. What if we try to change that? Let's say A equals, instead of A, we will try to make it E. It won't because strings are immutable, huh? Strings are immutable data type. Immutable, just say immutable. Yeah. Okay, so how to how to print quotations, quotation mark are quotes, let's say quotes and a string. Escape caps M and R. the real name of okay of batman is bruce wayne yeah so this is the right one another one is the real name of batman is bruce wayne the difference is here i'm enclosing double quotes with single quotes here i'm enclosing single quotes with double quotes the other way around what if we try to do the same quotes with same quotes same type of quotes double quotes with double quotes won't work right the same way um let's say let's say single quotes with single quotes works that doesn't work either there is a way you can make it work let's use a backslash here as an escape character yeah but as you can see the if the internal is um, double quotes or the internal the enclosed one is the, in double quotes so that will remain in double quotes the external will get automatically converted to single quotes the same thing happens here 
I mean, the opposite of that happens here. So since the internal enclosed string was in single quotes, that will be retained. The external will be changed to double quotes. Let's look at slicing and indexing, yeah? Mm, here we go. Shift enter. JL is Batman, Superman. Shift enter. Length JL. Okay, so length of this is uh, 15. When it says 15, it's counting, it's telling you that, okay, it's one to 15, but if you actually want to index it, right, you will start the count from zero to 14, right? Then let's also look at this, what type of data it is. That is a string. Now let's do this, jail B, right? And what if uh, I say jail minus one? n so indexing from left to right indexing starts from zero okay indexing when done from left to right starts from zero okay and indexing when done from right to left, it starts from minus one. Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, uh, you can try to get, let's say, I want to get our items from one to five. Let's see what happens here. Batman, okay, zero A, I got it, okay, one is zero one, uh, two, three, four, but I, I did not get the fifth. So what it exactly means is from first to fifth are always um, include the first till the fifth. So right one gets excluded left one gets included. So from first till fifth, that's what it means, from first till fifth, not uh, two fifth or uh, including fifth. From first till fifth, that means you start from for the first item, end at fourth, okay? So include Includes the first till fifth, but uh, excluding fifth, yeah? The index to the left gets included. The index to the right of the colon gets excluded. Yeah, to the left of colon. So uh, please remember that in slicing and indexing, that's uh, that confuse that used to confuse a lot uh, when I used to do uh, indexing, or maybe you know split some strings. But over a period of time, when you practice a bit, uh, you will get a hang of it. So JL from one to five, this is what I get, A, T, M, A. But what if I want a list of it, yeah? Let's say I want to convert that um, to a list. Let's say list JL one five. This one, but we are going to look at this later. Um, but not now, okay? So list is gonna be covered later. So this is the format start, end, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm 
Mm, yeah, mark down. Okay, so that is the heading. Then I, I'm going to put here str. So what is str here? String data. Then start the starting index, including itself. And the ending index excluding itself. Yeah, ending index gets excluded, right? End gets excluded, start gets included. So start gets included. Remember this. Yeah. Um, end gets excluded. So I'm going to say down here. End gets excluded. Yeah. So you remember like in that fashion that it. Okay, and then if uh, in the absence of an endpoint, so if there is, let's say there is no endpoint, all from the start index, including itself, will be selected. Uh, what does that mean? I'm going to uh, we are let's go ahead and cover that here and then <clears throat> we are going to you now jail let's say 14 yeah first item last item right this is the first item <clears throat> and this is your last item yeah and then let's say jl i'm gonna say this what happened so since we have not given any uh, start or end point everything gets included right so it's zero to infinity that's what it means but what if you do like this let's say zero like this so every item in uh, you know from zero till infinity because on the right, if it's empty, it means infinity. And in the left of the colon, if it's empty or nothing is given, that means it's uh, zero. So that's what I was trying to type here. Will be selected. Mm. Then. Exploring itself will be selected in the absence of both the start and end. All will be selected. Um, empty uh, start means start from zero. Okay. Empty end means till infinity right all right i think uh, that's enough of uh, slicing and indexing is there okay i think we can talk about this as you can see jl6 is a space yes the space will be represented as a string too right what if i say jl minus one as you have seen earlier it gets a last digit what if you want to do the entire indexing from right to left but the funny part here is let's say minus 16 yeah minus 1 <coughs> batman superman right uh, as you as i told you earlier right so you can go ahead and uh, uh, I mean, the indexing always starts from the uh, from the right hand side. If you're doing it, it always starts from minus one, right? But if you want to do everything in minus, so this is how it. Let's say if I put seventeen, it doesn't make a difference. 
let's say 5, 4, 14, yeah, yep, 15, bad man, right? Then let's say if I want to do this, I would do 14 here, yep, so this is on the top, whatever that you see here is the equivalent of this. Then, okay, and also the count in Python from left to right starts with zero. The count in Python from right to left starts with minus one. As per gentle math, uh, the length of the string, uh, JL is 16, but as per Python, it will always be one less than the actual mathematical, you know, uh, length. Uh, Right, so let me go ahead and put that to you here. Let me print out jail for you. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I had included a space earlier. So fifteen, fourteen. Let's uh, do a few more of this. What if you do like this? JL minus one, Batman, Superman. But how do you get the last one, the N? Well, uh, you won't because you're doing it from right to left. So yeah, but if you just wanna get, the, as you can see, always the N misses out, right? But if you do just this, you'll get the complete. Um, you'll get just the last one. Then, but if you, as you can see here, if I go out of the index range, the length is only 15, but I'm giving 16 here. It won't error out. It's uh, as Python is very forgiving. It automatically um, starts, I mean, stops at 15. So even if you give like, let's say eight or something, it's not gonna make any difference. It's still gonna be the same. Then let's do this then one more time, zero to 15 and then one. So what does this do? Hmm. So earlier I told you start point, end point, and what is this point? This is kind of, you can say a skip point uh, or move uh, right by position. That's what it means, uh, the third one. So I'm telling, uh, Python that in the string jail, move uh, or get from zeroth item till 15, right? And when you're doing that, you move uh, by one number, move right by one position. So how you do that? If I do two, then <clears throat> I get this, I get every second number. But whenever I'm giving it, or two, or three, whatever, it always, always prints the first letter, that is zeroth item. Zeroth item always gets printed and that gets never excluded, so it's a uh, zero um, here, as, uh, sorry, here, B-D-A-U-E-M-N, zero, one, right, one got skipped, right? And then uh, second one got printed. Then one, two, right, A prints out. One, two, space prints out. One, two, so every second item gets printed. You can also think of it as, okay, so every first item, when you're moving from left to right, every first item should be printed here. Uh, and here, if I give two, that means every second item, when you're moving from left to right, should be printed out. What if I want to do this? Three, yeah. So move from left to right, uh, from zero to 15, uh, zero, to, uh, zero to 15, and print every third item, every third item. That's what it means. So this is what the syntax is, right? Move right. Right. 
Uh, so this you can see here. What if I do minus one when I'm moving, right? Let's say this is the one, I say 10 and uh, five. <laughs> if I just print this out, nothing comes up because I'm giving the starting point as 10, but ending point as five. So end point comes before the start. It doesn't make any sense, so it returns empty string. But if I do minus one here, <clears throat> S-U-P-E, right? So by giving minus one, um, starting, uh, it's gonna start uh, from, uh, basically from like, you know, five to 10, it's gonna print uh, the mirror image of, of that, like S-U-P-E, right? Superman, S-U-P, so let me, let's try to play with it. Okay, let's say if I get nine here, I add only this thing, okay, so let's get 12. Superman, okay, let's go 15. Superman, yep. What if I give two? Not, uh, oops. Minus two, minus two here. So every second item, right? So minus one. So some notes to make a note of. Uh, when the skip integer, I'm gonna call this uh, the skip integer. It can be negative or positive. The skip integer is positive integer then it means that we are moving from left to right. If it is one, then it means get the next first item from the right. Uh, if it is two, then it means get the next second item from the right, right? So when the skip negative, uh, the skip is negative, uh, then it means that we are moving from left to right. Hmm. When the skip is skip integer, is a negative integer, okay. And then it means we are moving from hmm, right to left, yep. Okay, somewhere I missed the typing there. Then we have J, let's say four colon colon minus one. So here I have, uh, let's say this, what happens? So from fourth, so I've given a start point, no end point, that means still infinity. From fourth till infinity, get every first item. It did what, it, what I asked it to do, but now, we're doing it from right. From fourth till infinity, from right, get every first item. R, from right till fourth, yeah, so Batman, as you can see, B-A-T-M-A. -A. So it is printing from right to left. It's a mirror image, uh, basically. Let's say I'm gonna print JL here. As you can see, B-A-T-M-A. B A T M A. What if I do five here? Batman. So I got to complete. So zero to five, right? So here, uh, if I put minus, uh, or if it's a bit confusing to you, what you can think uh, that if a skip integer is negative, then uh, these uh, exchange their places. So that is. That is, it's, but yeah, right, okay, oh, wait. This is the same as this one. Um, they exchange places, however, as you can see here, But since uh, these are uh, both, uh, these are same actually. This actually means this. However, 
since for when we are counting from left to right we start from zero and when we are counting from right to left we start from one we have to add this to make it equivalent to this one all right so let's look at another one here similar one oh, i think we yep so here we don't have a start point we have an end point and we want to get every first item from right this is the same as let's say four we'll try to produce the same result with this minus one hmm okay nope i think we don't have because it's a mirror image right so We don't have an equivalent at least i can't figure out one if you do then do let me know in the comments okay jail is batman versus superman then we what we have here is uh jail uh what if i do this i don't have a starting point i don't have an end point and i have uh, this what does this mean well, before, so let me go ahead and also type what this actually means from zero till uh, fifth, right? So from zero till fifth, but excluding the end point, of course, right? Was zero, one, two, three, four, five. There's no start point. That means it's uh, it's going to be zero. There's an endpoint given, there's no skip digit given, but that means every first item. If there's no skip integer is given, that means every first item should be, the default is one. So if nothing is given, the default is uh, zero for the start, and the default for the end is infinity. Then let's get another one here. What if I do this? So start point is zero, default endpoint is infinity, and I get every fourth item. What if I don't give a skip integer to? Yeah, get everything. There's no start point is nothing. That means default is zero. End point is nothing. That means default is infinity. Skip digit is nothing. The empty not given. That means it's the default is one. What if you want to insert variable inside a string, yeah? Insert variables inside a string, yeah? So let's try to see that here. Okay, so I'm gonna say first, Indra, right? Last is Abby type first, Oops, type last, yeah, and then it's called string formatting also. It will come in string concatenation. We will cover them in detail, but for now we are going to touch upon them. Let's say you just say first, you say last, you got it. Okay, but we want some space there. Yeah, you got it. So. Again, that you can change single quote to double quote. It's gonna be same thing. No difference whatsoever. And yeah, shift, oops, I think I put two there. Okay, then what else can you do? Okay, so uh, let me show another variation of it. F, uppercase, this is also the same. And this also you can exchange with, as yeah, so a single quote, double quote, uh, uppercase uh, F, lowercase F. This stands for format. F, F stands for format. They are interchangeable. Then we have some string operators. String operators. Okay. Let's go to code, markdown, and shift enter. The first one is going to be plus operator. 
Okay, so what is a what is a plus operator? A concatenation. A is bat. Or let me say is bat. B is man. A plus B. A plus B is Batman. Yep. Then we have star. But if let's say A is two, uh, that's a different data type. B is man. Or let me override just the A. Then if I do A plus B, it won't work because intent string. The I mean A is integer and B is a string. That won't work. Okay. Then we have star operator. Yeah. One, two, three, star operator, star, star. Let's say A is cat. Yeah, and A star three is this cat, cat, cat. So three times. The original data will still remain unchanged, okay? So whatever that you got here, it's not altering the original data, it's just uh, producing new data. We can also do uh, a lot of other stuff. Let's say a or minus one. Hmm, interesting. A star one is cat. What if I produce a star 33? Same thing. Uh, there are some built-in functions we might want to be aware of. Uh, built-in functions, yeah. We will use them heavily when you're dealing with um, strings. So they are these. Okay, mark down. Okay, so function is CHR, that means integer to character. It converts an integer to character. Uh, str converts something to string, ord, ord, character to integer, right? Then len stands for, you know, length of a string. So let's do this. Batman, Superman, Bruce, wait, Bruce, and Clark. This is called uh, multiple variable assignment. So you are assigning multiple variables at the same time. See Batman, Superman. So let's look at character, yeah? Character, returns, uh, character, value for the given integer. Hmm, what is that? Okay. Now, we want to highlight this. We're going to put uh, one, two, three, four. Fourth subheading. Yep. So, as we know, nine is an integer. Character nine. Tab. Oh, interesting. What if I do CHR108? Well, interesting. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, there's some symbol. It looks like some Kannada letter, knee. Then you have CHR1000. Is that a cigarette or injection? Okay, pencil. Okay, whatever. So it converted integer to um, a character so let's see what a string does in code markdown converts given value to string value that's what it does str9 integer to string str1000 integer to string let's go for ORD converts a given character to an integer the opposite of 
character as a counterpart you can say mark down here enter okay so it's a o r d what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna just copy this i don't know how to type that here control v hey 1000 what do you know huh let me copy this make it Yeah, it makes uh, makes that into ordinary. I think what he was called ordinary earlier. I don't know. I'm just guessing. So what does the length do? What does the length do? Show the length L E N G T H of a string. Yeah. Let's say length. Hello world. Hello world's length is 11, okay. Bat is Batman, Batman. So length of bat is five. There are some string constants though uh, that we wanna be aware of. Uh, we have to be aware of. String constants, right? Let me go ahead and Hmm. Okay, so ASCII lowercase, lowercase alphabets, what is what does it do? It produces this, ASCII uppercase, produces uppercase, or gives you uppercase alphabets, ASCII letters, gives you upper and lowercase, digits, you know, hex digits, it gives you hex, dis, hex digits, uh, oct digits or octagonal, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, punctuation, all punctuations will be given here, printable, uh, what does it do? It gives you all the printable functions, right? Hmm. Why all printables? Okay, white space characters which are used for spacing. So let's have, uh, so what are the white space then? Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at white space here yeah so this is backslash t for tab backslash n for new line backslash r for return or enter key on the keyboard and backslash x o b form feed x o c is vertical tab okay so let's do import string string dot ascii underscore lower case uh, string mm. oh, so let me go ahead and control a a is this shift enter type a as you can see it's a string then again string dot ascii underscore uppercase get so let's say you are uh, doing some programming and for whatever reason you need uh, to you need uh, all the alphabets lowercase or uppercase or a mix of them to do whatever function are to uh, you're creating a table and you want to assign these as an index or whatever you want to do right so quickly you can get that list or you know get that uh, data here uh, from these built-in functions then you have string dot letters yeah both uppercase and lowercase that's what happened string dot ascii underscore letters yeah then string dot digits that is all digits uh, string dot hex digits string dot arc digits then you have string dot punctuation oops it's punctuation not punctuations string dot printables all the things that you can print in python then 
we have some white space. Well, we also want to look at, have a look at white space. Let's say string dot white space. Okay, then we have helper functions. What are helper functions? They will help us and help us to avoid write our own functions. Built in the uh, built in function says Batman and then type a string. We already know a dot capitalize. So it capitalizes the first letter a dot upper. Yeah, what if I <laughs> let me do this dot lower. So, uh, okay, um, let me, let's not be lazy. Let's go ahead and get you another one here. Superman, right, shift enter, then B dot lower, yeah. So then what do we have? Okay, we also can do minimum of B. That is A is the minimum. And what if I say max of B is there? Is that a built in function? Yes, you. So what is a min? A min in a string gets you the minimum or the smallest um, member of that string. Who is considered the smallest member here, smallest item? whoever is closer to A or A itself. Whoever is closer to Z or Z itself is the max. So uh, let's go ahead and put that here. Okay, and max is whoever uh, returns the maximum letter in a string, the letter which is farthest to the first alphabet, yeah. Okay, so we got that also let's do a b c okay we have a do we haven't assigned them here let me see batman r i can just do this batman superman flash okay and now if I say max A T T is closest to Z or uh, farthest from A right let's say max of B max of C then there are other functions called A dot split what is it doing? So it is splitting the A, that is this, at T. It's using, as you can see, it splits that string, gives a list of the result. But whatever uh, delimiter that you have used to split, that will be gone. So what it does is split based on a character that is what i did yeah let me get another example first middle last yeah first name middle name last name right uh, i can take it that way i will say data equals this then i will say data dot split based on underscore first middle last right 
this is what I got. Then I can also do this data dot split underscore comma one. So split how many times? By default, uh, there is a, num a number here. Whatever number that you give, it will split the given uh, data into that many times. If But if nothing is given, that means do that split activity infinite times. But since I have given one here, it splits the given data once and then returns the result. Let me do this two times. Yeah. So I did it twice. What if I do, let's say 22 times. It doesn't matter because there's no uh, after two. Uh, it can't go beyond two because there are only two places where this string is available. It will not error out, Python is forgiving. It will just produce the results and keeps quiet. Okay, so this is the syntax. All right, let me get that for you here. Yep, so split, delimiter, delimiter is uh, the character on which you wanna perform a slit, uh, sorry, <laughs> split. N is the number uh, using which the split will, or it is a number which represents how many number the split activity has to be performed. Now let's go ahead and get alphas string dot ascii underscore lowercase alphas is this then let me convert that to a list or a list we will cover them later extensively now type became a list right a, B, C, D, e, F, G, okay, all these letters. Now, let's see what if I wanna um, join them. End dot join. Hmm, but what if I want to join them with some character like this? Yeah, uh, or maybe this. Right, so all this can be uh, done this way. So split is the opposite of uh, join, okay? Now you can say counterpart. All right, then here we go. Count, what if you want to count A, what does it do? Okay, I think we don't have A. Do we have A? Yes, we have A. Count A. Count A doesn't do anything because A is a string. You can't count that way, but you can count this. You dot count A. That means count uh, the occurrence of A in this particular data. Or I can do this, Batman um, dot count t right how many times t has occurred once how many times n is there count the number of occurrences of a twice that's what we have and uh, let's do another one google dot count oh Right, that is three. Now we have this. We wanna make a note. So what does count do? Count uh, takes a substring. Count the number of times a substring appears in a string. String dot count in bracket substring. Let's look at another function here. Text is just as league result 
text dot z fill twenty five. What does this do? Okay, so z fill. What does it do? It increases the length of a string of a given string and fills the remaining character or uh, the empty character with zero. That's what it does. Let's say length result 25, 25, 25, 25. What if I do text dot z fill four? Yeah, it doesn't because uh, four is less than the length of uh, text. So that is not going to work out for us. So then, hmm, that's all a Z field does. Z field takes an integer uh, in. Yeah, so increases the length of a string to n, uh, where where n is not none or empty. It doesn't do anything if n is less than the length of the string. Yep, that's what z field does. Then another function what I had was okay. So text dot is title. Is a given text title false? Hmm. Checks okay. So is title function what it does is it checks whether the given uh, particular string is a title. So what constitutes as a title? Let's say this Batman end is true. So if the first letter of the given text, only the first letter, R, I'm sorry, the first letter is uppercase, then it considers that string as a title. What if we have this Justice League dot is title? True. What if we have a middle one? False. See how smart Python is? I mean, they have, somebody has created built-in functions so that we don't have to, you know, ever uh, write functions like this. So let's um, have a look at another one. So red is a color, green is a color, blue is a color. Cat is an animal. Yep. I hope you agree with me on this. So let's say data is this. And data dot r partition is, hmm, what did it do? Partition, our partition, our right partition, uh, partitions a string at the last occurrence of a given substring. Uh, that's why it's called right. It starts the partition from right. Uh, here is, uh, okay, let me also give you the context of it first, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do another one. Right here, we did. Uh, I mean, we did the partition from right. But what if we want to do uh, it from left? Is it? Is there one? Yep. Red is, and the rest of it. So that's left partition. So if you do, if we move R, it becomes left partition. Yep. So let's put that here too. For your later reference. Then what we have, okay, it's identified. That's a cool one. Batman, Superman, okay. Then I will say jail dot is identifier false. 
then what is an identifier okay then let's say jl is this batman superman yeah and then i will say jl dot is identifier yep true or if we say an underscore right let's say we do this underscore b right so an identifier usually doesn't have spaces so All right, so check if the given string is an identifier and returns a Boolean. True or false, result a Python identifier is a name used to identify a variable, function, class, module, or other object. So usually when you name a function, you don't give space there, or an object, or a class, right? When you create objects in Python, you don't. Uh, so this is an acceptable name uh, to be an identifier, uh, the rest of them are not. And yeah, I have one more. No, I have more. Batman. Let's say bat dot center uh, nine. So what does it do? It aligns bat. Uh, it increases the length of the given string to nine, and aligns that to the center. Very easy, yeah. Let's say why well, I want to do nineteen here. Shift uh, enter 19, okay. What if I want, uh, I don't want uh, it to be uh, space, I want it to be star. The characters that it fills, by default it fills spaces. What if you don't want spaces, you can put whatever character that you want here and it will take that one for you. Okay, so adds as many string as needed around the given string to align it to the center uh, string. Uh, again, it's uh, optional parameter, integer mandatory parameter. Here, this string, I'm not talking about this, str is the target data on which we perform this activity. Hmm. Is there a string dot left? Okay, let's uh, check it out bat dot left nine no it's not there hmm. i wish it was let's say well we already know of the length then uh, jail is okay let's uh, define justice league again batman superman um aqua man one Wonder Woman Flash Yep Then we do JL dot R find man Okay that is I'm asking it to um, on the from the right hand side from the right hand side start finding this substring man and when you find it return the place where you found it okay fair enough so if you come from uh, let's say j len jl the length of it is 45 so if you come from right to left that's 45 okay 44 43 42 41 40 39, 38, 37, 36, and yes, 35. But if when you're counting from right to left, it's, uh, it doesn't start from zero, it starts from one. So yes, it's not, oh, it's at 35th place. We found math. We found a man at 35th place. Hmm. 
Okay, let's see what else can we do with this R find. That is find from the right hand side. We have man, we have zero, we have 15. Yeah. Three. Hmm. So from zero to 15, that, that is from zeroth element to 15, uh, find the first occurrence of uh, man. Zero, one, two, three. On third place, we found man, right? From zero to 15, so we are giving that range here. What if I do 15 to 45, huh? Yep, 35, as we found earlier here. Then what if I do 30 to 45? Again, same thing. What if I do 31? No, okay. What if I do 40? None. I have minus one, that means it's not there, okay. A negative result. Hmm, let me put this here for you. All right, okay, so right uh, string is an input string, where this is what you give the Justice League, right? Then substring is what you want to find start is this the starting point the ending point if start is not given that it's zero always if end point is not given then it's infinity returns minus one if not found as you saw here how different is that from jl find huh jl find jlr find mm -hmm. 335 because it goes from left to right uh, that one goes from right to um, left, okay? So that's what the difference is. Uh, the rest of the stuff is the uh, same as the other one, right? Jail.find man, 0 to 16. Uh, if I do the same thing here for R, yep. You can see, you know, different results come out. By default, everything, uh, all the activities performed from left to right. Uh, for most of the built-in functions, if it is from right to left, then you will see an R there. That look like R partition, R find, etc. Oops, let me do this. For markdown, you have to give two space to go to the next line. Then what else we have? Let's say we have this A, B, C is Batman, Superman. Flash, okay. Now, this say ID A, that is identity of A, ID B, ID C, okay. The ID of A and B are same since, uh, I mean, ID are not, A and B and C are not same because they are a uh, different object. But let's go ahead and uh, define another one. I'm gonna do D equals um, Batman, okay. Hmm, interesting, 8, 8. So ID of A is ID of D are both same. But 1, 9, 5, 2, 8, okay, let me do this. Yes, they are true. So they're not the same, but I mean, they both are equal identity, right? So this is how you find uh, uh, no, the identity of uh, a string. And if 
any variable's value. Uh, if let's say uh, one or more variables, variables share the same value, then they will have same identity or same ID to be precise. Okay, let's say what did we have jail here? Jail was this. Let's say jail dot replace a with what um, at symbol? Yeah, so a got replaced with the door key i. Then let's say jail dot replace um, a. Oh, okay. First, let's print a and jail. So original data is still the same, right? That has not changed. Jail dot replace a, then at symbol, but one. What does that mean? So do it only once. By default, uh, this is infin infinity or infinite. If nothing is given, it will automatically take the default. That is forever. Do it forever. And here, since we have specified one, it will do it only once. If I do two, it will do twice. Yeah. This will be extremely useful for you. And if you are um, replacing some string or um, concatenating values and then uh, are cleaning up some data, the, uh, in those places, it will be useful. Or extracting some value out of uh, logs. Okay. Make solve upper. I think we have already seen this. Jail, right? Um, jail dot upper is. Yeah. Oops upper does all uppercase right so that's why i have called that as jl u here okay so we are going to use that here as jl u as in justice league uppercase case fold what does that do aggressively lowercase the string that's what it does uh, case fold Aggressively lowercase the string, yeah, and then I can also do uh, jail dot count a as I showed earlier, but you can also do jail dot count a. I can say zero to five, from zeroth place to fifth place. Count how many a's are there. Yeah, so that is. Uh, uh, the format is something like uh, this string count substring start point start point end point if no start point and end point are given then it starts from zeroth element to infinity okay this is uh, just a sleeve jail dot encode what does it do it encodes mm. I mean, you can specify an encoding style, but here we are using the default one, whatever that's there in the browser. JL.encode encoding UDF, error strict. Here I have mentioned UDF. If you have something else, you can put that, or else it, no, it's the same thing. But usually, let's say you got some data from web or raw text or something. And you want to use that uh, with some other application or in your programs, then you might want to convert that or encode that data to whatever standard uh, the application or the source or the destination to which you're feeding this data to accepts. Also, uh, one more thing: jail dot starts with. Yeah, this is another interesting one, okay. Yep, so let's say you have like some 20, 30 lines and uh, you are specifically looking for a line where, and uh, one of the characteristic of that line is it starts with W, right? So instead of you searching every 
are writing a function that okay go through each the line and see whether they all start with like you know split all the letters and see whether the first letter is w and then you know instead of doing all that you have a built-in function it tells you whether it starts with the letter or not starts with n false yeah. right So, and there's one more, ends with false, oops, let's say, I'm going to do here is H, oops, H, colon, delete, Shift enter, yes, because Justice League ends with H. So what does it do? str ends with substring checks if a given string ends with a substring with the with the substring. Yep, a uh, substring. Now let's define JLT or let's say Justice League tabbed, right? Mm, I'm gonna say backslash tab, Batman, backslash tab, T for tab, backslash T for tab, Superman, shift enter, JLT is this. Now if I do JLT dot expand tabs, tab size is Mm, let's say five huh so whatever tab is there replace that with some spaces or put a tab of space of put a tab of length five of size five but if you just do this jlt dot expand tabs Okay, let me go ahead and uh, write this again, just to JLT and JLT.expand tabs. It puts a space, but what if I want to do more? Mm, nine, one nine, yeah. So that happened and JLT is this jlt dot expand tabs yep so by default it uh puts up a space uh, this much space that is a default uh size of the space that uh tab size that it puts up but you can uh go beyond that by giving a proper size so what does it do it returns a copy of the string where tabs are replaced by spaces. Yep. Then hmm, we have this. Okay, and this is part of Justice League dot format. Say Martian. As you can see, Martian is part of Justice League. So this is how we can insert variables into a string. Mm -hmm. All right, so what else we have? Hmm, then we have B S as in <laughs> Batman, Superman, okay, uh, nothing else. Batman is what? Bruce Wayne. This is, by the way, called uh, Dictionary here. We are going to talk about them later extensively. Uh, Clark Kent, yeah? So Clark Kent. So BS is what? This. So now, mm, I'm gonna show you something. 
Okay. I'm gonna say Batman and Superman are pals. Dot format underscore map BS. Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent are pals. Makes sense, yeah. Mm, now what we have here? It is all oh, right okay then we have okay so we saw jail i mean string dot find right it says string jail dot find a returns a but jail dot index a also returns a but let's say jail dot uh, okay, first of all, this is jail. Uh, let's say find mm, what is not there. X is not there. Okay, it is minus one. Jail dot index, however, even worse. I mean, it returns minus one. That's okay. It returns value error. Okay, it's supposed to return the index at which that particular thing is found substring is found but it returns an error if it's not found also you have just like find and r find you also have r index yeah and a c42 from the right to left 42 this is 42 43 44 right so it's a length of jail is what 45 so 40 second character or uh, character is a so it's returning the index of that from 0 to you know actually it's 44 a 0 to 44 but you know what I'm saying it's a bit confusing you know, when you actually count mathematically it's 1 to 5 but in most of the programming languages it starts the count from 0 a9 let's say and is alum true okay what is alum that means alphabetic plus number alphanumeric that's what it is it checks whether a given uh, stuff is alphanumeric or not nine dot is a l n u m no oh yes because it's number and a is also because it is alpha if it's either alpha or that is alphabetic r number or any one of them are both then it's true hmm. let's say empty string is false of course because that is empty now a9 exclamation okay now a9 8 exclamation mark and is alphanumeric false because that is absolutely not alphanumeric again this is not a like you know um, main function this is uh, what do you say okay so I'm going to show you this nine nine is alpha yes right so yeah first let me go ahead you know, and uh, write that for you okay so str i'm gonna say value huh? value is alpha r um, i'm gonna say x here x alpha then x uh, and dot is decimal and r x and dot is digit r x and dot is numeric so if any one of this is true then is alpha numeric will become true 
is it, if it's numeric, if it's a digit, if it's a decimal, or if it is an alphabetic. If any one of this is true, then it's a numeric. If any of these are these conditions are true, then okay, let me do this. So this main function, uh, I mean this uh, function is just, uh, or these are all sub functions of this and this is a mega function of this, uh, all these sub functions. So yeah, let's go through the tiny things too, right? Nine dot um, nine is alpha, yes. 1.2 1.2 is decimal yes no okay what about 12 true then it means I mean 1.2 is a float so what about uh, 1 dot is digit I'm giving without quotations Let's see what happens. Absolutely, it won't take it. Yeah, is digit. Okay. Is digit, yes. Let me now remove the, this. No, it won't, yeah. Always you feed the value in quotes, double or single quotes. And then is numeric, yeah. Well, n dot is numeric of course it is i mean we are dealing with strings strings are gonna come in quotes so yeah and again uh jail dot is lower is that in lower uh all that in lowercase yes uh is jail in upper okay but yeah is upper false it's not uppercase it's lowercase but if I say bad dot is upper true 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 okay then now we have let's say we will do one more thing jlc equals jl dot capitalize we're gonna capitalize for now and um, just the first letter right then we will see whether it is upper no sorry is upper still no because entire thing is not uppercase it's just the first letter which is uppercase what about you want to check whether something is some given string is just a space false what now Yes, it is true. Mm -hmm. So now you can see you know, why um, Python makes your life much easier. When you're dealing with strings or some data, a lot of uh, such beautiful functions are built in. And you can have a lot of fun with them. Let's say you have some data given like this and it has a lot of uh, space. Then you can do this L strip that is left strip. It strips only the left part of it. But what if I want to strip just the right part of it? Right strip. <coughs> what if I want to strip the left and right both part of it? Yeah. So left strips the space right strip the space left and right strips the space what if you want to strip um something else 
not the space, right? You want to give uh, some name, right? Let's say HTTPS colon dot 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 YouTube.com and I'm going to say R strip com. Okay, com is gone. Now let's take com. Okay, I'm going to say left strip because on the left hand side there's no com, so we can't. All right, so that won't work. Mm. Remove scum from the right. There is no calm in the left, so nothing happens. But what if I say there is just CO? There's no CO at the right, too. It's COM, not just CO. So that will not work either. Again, let's uh, do a left strip just for the sake of it. I'm going to say HTTPS. That is gone. What if I say just strip and see what happens? Okay, so if it's found on the right, it will strip from the right. If it's found on the left, it will strip from the left. If it's not found, on either right or uh, right or left, it will leave that alone. Nothing happens there. Then we will take another one. My translation table is str dot make trans. A E I O U. Vowels, uh, we know what they are. At three exclamation mark zero nine. Huh? Just enter. Now you see if I just take this. So you have 97, 64. I mean, you might think, okay, it doesn't make sense. I created the transition translation table. It's supposed to translate something this to this, but what am I seeing it here? Well, you will know. Let's say data is the bad man who lost. Right? Data is this. And then data dot translate. See what happened here? So all the A E I O R. Why R was that? It's supposed to be you, okay? A got re uh, got replaced with at symbol A to A. Mm, right. Then what happened here? E got replaced with three. I got replaced with exclamation mark. O with O. U with nine. But if U is not there, so yeah. No. You get what I'm saying. Instead of you're trying to go through each letter and try and replace them, you can use this. It will just translate that from this to this. Okay, so this is what a translation table does to you. Data then data dot r just 50. What is r just? So data dot r just that is uh, right justify, justify to the right. As increase the length of the given string to 50 and move it, uh, move the given data uh, string to the right or align it to right now let me do left see whether that is there and oh, that is there too what if I see um, center is it there no that's not there Yeah.
All right, I'm sorry for putting you on uh, mute. Okay, so just trying to find here. Okay, left chest, the Batman. All right, okay, so shift. What if I wanna do uh, data dot r just this 50 comma dollar Batman who lost. Okay, so instead of giving space now, what you're doing here is you are adding dollar symbols, okay? So that is what happening now here, data dot, okay, uh, you do left, right? The same thing is happening. Okay, all right. So this is what happens here. Uh, so str dot left just width and fill character so you give the width here and what characters to be filled same thing with the right just or right justify left just or left adjust or left justify or R just stands for right just or right justify or right adjust width is what should be the final width and yeah insert character is dollar symbol right so now let's go to data dot r split um september equals none and uh, max split is let's say minus one right the batman who laughs so i did the right split and the separator i have not given anything it's none uh, I'm just splitting that if I give no separator then it will no separator it will take space as the separator max split has given us minus one so what does that mean so let's uh, do a few more of that and we will come to now then we we'll say data dot uh, split and um, then separator equals none max split equals one what happened here so split from the right hand side the maximum number of splits that you have to do is one right so then let me copy this and do left split well that is not there so can we do a left split like this? That is also not there, so it's very specific to right split, but you can do just split. That is, uh, this is valid because just split, I mean, is left slipped. I mean, left split. <laughs> All right, here, so this is also, can be done here so this is left split so if there is no l given then it means left split or whatever left function is if it's uh, specifically being done from right then you will see r otherwise you will have just left here right so now what if i want to do maximum number of splits is two here huh? say r and i will say two okay what if i want to do interest separator as a now wherever here the batman the bat m right and who the batman who laughs i mean who laughs right so at a you got a split here at so from the right hand side here there is an a uh, let me go ahead and uh, print the data to you so the first a from the right came here so it did a split here right the second a came here it did a split here well if i just say this see what happens so it does the same thing from left to right batman the first a came here it did a split second a came here right all right so now um that's about the splits. 
let me go ahead and post some notes to you here all right okay so now what if you want to split lines yeah split lines this is what it does hello dot split lines yep now i've given hello but there are no more lines there to split what if i have this um okay now same thing but i did not split anything there so now you will see hello backslash and backslash and backslash and world backslash n and dot split lines yeah now you will see so wherever n our new line was there it splits split the line it considers that as a new line and you know splits it and gives you a dictionary a good dictionary let's uh do something else here i'm gonna say the same thing i'm gonna say keep ends equals true yeah so what happens is so whatever ending the line wherever you are seeing n the stands for new line those have been retained when the split was done so yeah this is where it is the so split lines what it does is based on these characters whatever that you have given there right it will split them uh, based on any of these characters given to it okay i think i have it should be here and it should be here all right okay so i have shown you backslash n i think the rest of them should be same you can replace backslash n with tab or r carriage written and they should all do the same thing let me for the sake of it i know show you one more as you can see no, it's spreading the line. So again, let's go to our JL, our Batman, Superman, and all the list. Uh, what I can do is JL swap case. What did it do? It just swaps the case. Uh, if it was lowercase, it makes uppercase. If it the letter is uh, uppercase, it makes lowercase. Then I can also do JL dot upper, as you can see. Uh, it just does upper what if it's um, already in uppercase uppercase won't do anything but the swap case will go ahead and know and make it uh, lowercase so i'm gonna say jl uh, jlu right so jlu is this jlu dot swap case see what happened here all right so Swap case just reverses uh, the casing of the entire string, makes the lowercase string to uppercase, and vice versa. Yep. So that's all I had. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Have a great one. Take care.